Once again, we are back on Ekman Sochi T Talk Train of Anthony, a series of an episode with Dr. Chris uh, D'Souza. We have seen his amazing journey as far as passion was there towards karate more than how he switches gear uh, to a medicine and uh, making that medicine as his profession. Profession and always like uh, again over there the top performer. writing 50 books again practicing and putting it uh, in the book form and also writing those uh, med- uh, research papers 40 research journals in uh, leading uh, medical uh, journal across the world uh, now in this episode we are going to catch up with sir on his another book of an uh, autosclerosis so can you please uh, some write on this please autosclerosis is a very common problem and uh this results in a hearing problem now hearing problems can occur because of a problem in the three bones that are responsible for conduction of sound into the inner ear or it can affect the inner ear directly so in this book i have written two books on it and uh, they are the world's leading reference books on this subject and this problem of uh, has three causes one is it can be genetic mm-hmm. that means transferred down by your uh, parents mm-hmm. or it, it was thought at one time to be because of deficiency in fluoride in the water mm-hmm. and the third component is that they say that the measles virus can enter your system and can trigger off this problem mm-hmm. therefore ever since the measles virus uh, the measles vaccine was introduced the incidence of this problem has come down So the number of people suffering from otosclerosis has definitely come down. Now, what happens is this: that in the various generations of surgeons, the professors above me did thousands of these operations. Mm-hmm. Person of my generation have done them in hundreds, mm-hmm. but the person below me will not do that much. Mm-hmm. It is the most technical mm-hmm. and the most difficult surgery in the whole human body. Because the size of that bone is very tiny, and when you replace it with an artificial bone, it has to be absolutely precise. Yes. Now, what happens if you don't do the surgery well? The person can lose their hearing permanently. So, if that happens, the person can also get giddiness permanently. Can also get a perpetual humming sound. So, this is one of the most demanding surgeries in the whole human body. So I wrote the first book with Dr. Michael Glasscock, my icon. Mm-hmm. It was a very successful book, mm-hmm. and subsequently I wrote it with the professors at the State University of New York, where I've been associated for the last 26 years. Mm-hmm. I've conducted many workshops in the U.S., mm-hmm. and all these are validated through certificates that I've got, so that they can it's available on my website to see. But it is one surgery that is very demanding. The other uh, problems that you can ha- a person can have is a hole in the eardrum. Mm-hmm. We repair it for two reasons. One is to improve hearing, mm-hmm. and number two is to protect the middle ear from outside contaminants. Because right. if the middle ear gets an infection, mm-hmm. they'll get a discharge coming out from the ear. Oh. So by sealing the middle ear, we improve hearing, mm-hmm. as well as we protect the middle ear from infections. Mm-hmm. That's a very important thing. The third one is something called cholecystoma, where the the external canal is a, a blind sac. There is no skin at all in the middle ear. Sometimes because of a perforation, that is a hole in the eardrum, skin can enter the middle ear and then start destroying it by scooping it out. This problem, if not treated, can result in severe brain infections. Apart from destroying hearing and even at times paralyzing the face. this can lead to infections we can go into the can travel into the brain so these are very common problems which we need to address and uh, identify correctly for these very important hearing tests are needed i tell all patients who come to me you need a battery of three tests the first one is what we call pure tone audiogram whether you hear a sound or not the second is speech audiometry that is to say how many words can you identify correctly mm-hmm. for example we say baseball mm-hmm. so the emphasis is on both the syllables mm-hmm. and it is given at a certain volume mm-hmm. 
and then we give them a score and 100% is when they can hear all the words correctly but the minute it comes down to 75% then that person will have a problem in hearing correctly they may not hear the doorbell the telephone bell they'll not be able to make out words clearly and lastly if they go into a crowded room they'll get you know confused because people are speaking at the same time and the, the third test is called impedance where we check the pressure of the middle ear so these things are very important and of course accompanied by a good clinical exam which is foremost and then we can choose imaging that means a ct scan of the ear bones to identify what the problem is so once we do this a good physical exam a good hearing test a good imaging uh, of the a ct scan of the ear we put all three together and then we can decide what is the person suffering from okay i think it's an excellent uh, way of and practicing dr chris this is a like whatever you practice this is put it in a book form like you know we are like normally whatever the things they have got a scientific touch like you know uh, as far as the books which are concerned exercise you practice and you put it in book form you write a research paper that's what practice is all about and i think hats off sir for spending so much uh, for uh, putting so much of an effort and giving it back to our society in a meaningful way, uh, way. many a times uh, uh, we feel we are in a comfort zone theek hai like you know zindagi chal raha hai koi issue nahi hai chalne do but in your case what we have seen your journey the all the episodes what we have seen the passion to do things in a different way and give it back to our society in a meaningful way like so it's so it was a real excellent insight so what we got in this episode i'm sure to catch up with uh, uh, more on the important organ of and body with dr chris this is a uh, please say t- uh, tune to t talk ek bun soch ki uh, uh, for next episode thank you very much thanks sir. thank you sir thanks. thank you